Mayo during the past year, Conor Max Day, hoping to build upon that, of course. His dad, of course, Paul, was a great basketball player, played with a great Ballina team that had the likes of Liam McHale and Diora Marsh in it as well. But this is definitely Kevin Johnson's team and Kevin Johnson's day with Curra Finn, building on what they achieved in the Galway final. Battling in the middle of the field now, and it's got to be Ballina's possession. Yeah, David Clark went up and won that. He turns 40 next week, he's not showing any signs of it. No, indeed. Big, huge one. Again, taken down by Gavin Burke here. Read the break. Able to come out with it. Saw the challenge about to be presented. Safety first. Everybody coming back to help one another. This is the great understanding that this Corrifin team has. The older players have blended in beautifully with the new, younger lads coming along. The likes of Brian Cogger, Patrick Egan, Jack McCabe as well. And the final whistle sounds and a very deserved victory by Kevin Johnson and Corrifin in the Connor Football semi-final. Just a quick summation, Ender. Yeah, look, Curfin, well deserving on the day. Balna brought a bit of a bounce at the start of the second half, but just like you said, they're, they're experienced players. When they needed a few kickouts to be won, Dylan McHugh, Liam Silk, Gary Sice all got on important ball, and Jack McCaig then up top was brilliant. He chipped in with a couple of brilliant scores. Gary Sice had a couple of brilliant ones from play as well. Patrick Egan around the middle, very industrious, and put in a good shift again, but Curfin, more than.